Hey guys, thanks for joining in. Uh, I've got a new tool that I picked up actually just this week. Um, as it just, I think actually just dropped last week uh, nationwide uh, for Harbor Freight. And this is the Bauer. You can see it here. Variable speed rotary tool with, as they call it, the flexible shaft. So here's the tool as it is. And real quick, part number on it is 2312. 10C-B, and if you want the Harbor Freight item number, it is 58672. It is also worth noting that, as you see here, this is also made in China. Uh, but I wanted to, to show you guys it, because it's it's actually quite a unique tool in that it's, uh, it's very much a Dremel, right? Uh, and I'll bring that in here for you guys to see. I mean, you guys, I'm sure most of you guys have Dremels. You know, I'm still on the plug-in one. I don't have a, a battery-powered one. Uh, but Dremels have their place, uh, especially for hobbyists. Um, and, but even for, you know, whomever. I mean, there's a lot of different things that Dremels can be used for. And when you use that quarter-inch, uh, or sorry, it's eight-inch uh, drive that, are, that that's on the, the Dremel tools, uh, you could use a, a load of different... Uh, uh, bits on the end so it doesn't it doesn't really matter uh it actually comes with this little kit here i'll show you real quick all the all the bits that come with it so you have a wire wheel uh here's the tool i'll show you guys real quick the tool that allows you to tighten right uh your bit in the end and here is the locking mechanism so you push your thumb down here twist it till it locks and then you give it a nice little tightening until it locks into place. Same thing for loosening. Press up on it until it hits the recess. And then put your little tool on the end and loosen it to remove your bit. Um, so it works just the same as your traditional Dremel. Now what's unique about this is there is no plug. Right, You can't hang it on a wall for it, right? These little uh, uh, nail receivers. Uh, for sliding it on the wall and then taking it off. But the key to it is it's very much mobile, right? Now this is 36 inches long. Uh, the shaft uh, that allows you to extend into other, other locations while having the motor in a separate location. So what drives this? Um, it's actually a battery pack. Now, I will admit, I personally do not own any Bauer to power tools or Harbor Freight Power Tools. Those are not my go-to. Um, so in my case, and these are actually really nice, in case you guys haven't seen these, these are your battery adapters. So this one converts Bauer over to DeWalt. Yes, it's a little bit more bulky, but I'm able to save myself from, I mean, I already have enough uh, manufacturers that I, support when it comes to their battery packs uh so i'm not going to jump in and, and buy anytime soon uh the bauer setup so uh these, these you could pick up for like 15 20 bucks online uh i think i'm on amazon and then unless you put dewalt uh you could do milwaukee i found a milwaukee one on there and i think there might even be um makita as well so there's a couple different options but uh, just know that you don't have to necessarily dedicate yourself to Bauer's battery pack system and buy a whole bunch of batteries and chargers that you just don't need. Now, uh, so what's great about this is, yeah, you can leave it mounted on the wall. And I can see most hobbyists, maybe you mount this on the wall. And like this, this right here is a nice uh, recess that allows the tool to drop down inside. And it stays there snugly, doesn't go anywhere. So that is a nice setup. Uh, or you can just take it and go with it. Set it down if you need to go work on something away from... Uh, your tool bench, then you have the ability to take it that way. And so I'll show you up top here how it kind of works. So here is your variable speed dial. And then on this side is the on and off switch. So uh, the lowest speed setting they say is zero. I will show you zero RPMs. That's clearly not zero RPMs. Um, I, I'm betting it's probably closer to 500 RPMs. And then it's supposed to go all the way up to Let's take this to turn it. It's a little clunky. I think there's probably like five or six settings. And it 
goes all the way up to 33,000 RPMs, allegedly. Now the handle's nice and thin, very much, feels very much like a, a TIG gun setup. So you could keep it really small to get in those tight places. Um, it is a plastic, almost like a PVC type handle with a rubber over mold. And then Bauer is actually pronounced it comes out and is painted white. Uh, it is nice that they have the, these additional um, flexible springs, both at the tool and at the base of uh, the, the Bauer, essentially, motor that's on here. Uh, so that helps to keep you from kinking these up because that all that's running through there is a cable in a shaft. Um, and so the less, the less tension you put or less binding you put on it, the longer it's going to last for you. So uh, quality-wise, I mean, it's... It's, it's actually fairly nice plastic. It's fairly light. I'll let you look, take a look in here at the motor. Um, it definitely does not sound like a brushless motor. Uh, I almost guarantee this is a brushed motor, especially for the price, because this unit comes in um, at $39 without any sort of battery pack. So it's just the tool only is $39. Bucks. Um, so I, I'm, I'm betting that this back here... This is just going to be a brush motor. Now, could you change that out in the future? Maybe you guys who were, uh, you know, willing to dive in there and, and play with that and change that, you could. But just keep that in mind. Uh, and then it's also worth noting, uh, and maybe you guys that deal with this, these items more than me might have a better idea, but uh, here's your flexible shaft. Definitely has a ball bearing down inside there, which is nice. And then it's got a hex pattern. Uh, so maybe there's the ability to adapt to other manufacturers later on. Or maybe different tools on the end. Uh, I will admit I have not dove in to, to check out uh, any other uh, adaptability with uh, other tools or, or other manufacturers. But guys, it's uh, I'll say this for what it is. It's a it's a very niche kind of tool for very few I, very few guys out there. I feel like uh, if you already do have uh, uh, a tool that has the ability to run these eight inch. 8th inch uh, bits, then you probably don't need something like this. But if you do want the flexibility to be able to take it mobile and not be plugged on the wall, then it does offer a solution for guys out there. And once again, it comes up with this kit, right? You have these fiberglass cutoff wheels. You have sanding discs. Uh, there's a drill bit in here, I think, too. Uh, you have these polishing pads. And that's also a polishing compound, which I imagine you just have to take that, scoop it in, and then wipe it on there. Um, and then you get these uh, harder uh, stone grinding wheels. So several options, but any of the other, um, you know, rotary tools that are out there, uh, their bits will fit inside there, and so you could mix and match as you want. So a lot of a lot of options out there uh, for whatever you need this for. Now for me, um, you know, it, for me it'd be nice to do a little bit of uh, small engine work. Maybe doing some intake manifolds, exhaust manifolds, cleaning up some burring inside there or some casting flaws. Um, or even doing some, I mean, I don't know what I'd use this for porting heads, but you could do a little bit of cleaning uh, up inside of some heads of these as well. So it, it is a cool tool. It is a unique tool. And for $39, it's not going to break the bank, especially if you already have your own battery pack. And once you pay for the converter or the adapter, then you're set to go. So... Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Is this something you guys would like to add to your, your uh, toolkit or to your workbench? Or do you think there's something else better out there instead of a tool like this? Anyways, thanks for hanging in there, guys, this long. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll bring some more your way.